M0FXB. Thought I'd quickly show these side by side. So with, this is the Warui K5. Quite a nice design. And these are similar radios. And if I, the screen will stay on on the Bofeng 13 on the left. Go menu, exit. They both talk to you, these radios. Let's just uh, exit the menu. Turn up the volume. Go menu. Similar way of setting up the radio. I would say the screen, I suppose, is is bigger on the Warui K5. I, I do prefer the style of the K5. They both work well. The K5 does cover more bands. DTMF, nice keypad, up and down, usual PTT function setting buttons. They're both USB-C chargeable and programmable with a twin pin cable. Battery size, I'm not going to take them off, but I'll just physically look at them. Yeah, similar. Belt strap. They both come with carry handles. Now the Warui did have a cradle, it came with a cradle charger. Where the Bofeng didn't, it came with a USB-C charger. Which goes in the bottom here. They're fun little toys. Price-wise, the one that is a bargain is actually the, the Bofeng 13 because it was only £20 delivered. The Warui was nearer 14 Is it worth the extra? I'll let you decide. But, um, you know, come on, these are toys. If you go to McDonald's, it costs more. That's how I look at it. That's why we've, I've got several, several of these kind of radios. They have torches, nice LEDs. Several of these lying around. Why not? You pick them up. You have a little play. Move on to the next. Uh, move on to the next gadget you've got that you want to play with. But overall, that you do really, if you want to get memory names on these radios, you do actually need to get it on the computer. That you can program them by hand. They're not too bad to program by hand. Type in the frequency, set the the minus plus shift tone, tone frequency, all that kind of stuff. Dual receive, one at a time. But you can dual watch. Nice speakers on them. So no complaints with the, any of them. The, the K5, they've actually added 50 megahertz TX. And I don't know what the TX rules are in, in China, but it TXs on quite a few bands where obviously you don't break your rules, you don't break your license, but um, it's got more, more versatility. I think you can hack both ones, but I don't recommend that. Volume, well, the volume is just nice, isn't it, on the Warui. It's not boring at all. It'd be nice if you could push the button, it, wouldn't it? So thanks for watching my channel, I thought I'd show them side by side, and uh, if you want a cheap one, go to AliExpress, put in UV13 Pro and you'll get a very cheap radio, because it was and it was delivered in a few days, and don't worry about AliExpress and delivery and all that kind of stuff, I've never had a problem with them, and I've bought several items, bye for now, 7.3.